Hey everybody, it's Nikki, and in today's video, I have a Target grocery haul for you. I share a few new Ray Dunn pieces, some fun spring finds, along with my closet project that I'm working on, and of course, what I'm making for dinner. So I haven't shared an outfit of the day in such a long time, and this is one of my very favorite outfits. The dress and cardigan is from Ann Taylor. I found my scarf at one of those little boutiques downtown in our little hometown, and my black suede boots are from Soul Society. I am kind of dealing with a bad hair day today, which I guess doesn't really matter much because it's a very windy, cold day outside. After school, I am heading out to do some errands and I'll share with you all the things that I find. I have a little bit of a Target grocery haul for you guys. Here I have some ground turkey. I'm going to be making some sloppy joes like today or tomorrow. We are expecting a little bit of a storm and I am always afraid we're going to get snowed in the house without any food, which is totally ridiculous because I have a freezer full, but I'll be making some sloppy joes anyway, just in case. So I have the ground turkey. I have some potato rolls that I use for them. I have some green peppers that go in the sloppy joes. I have some sweet little tomatoes. I have some avocados that are going to need a couple days to ripen up. I have some multi-grain Tostitos, which are our favorite kind. I made chili the other day um, that's in the freezer, so I'm going to keep these on hand so we can have that later on in the week. I have a couple bags of lettuce. I have some celery, and my favorite granola was on sale, so I got myself a couple bags of granola. Back here, I have some zucchini. It's like my favorite vegetable. I always like to have that in the refrigerator. I have some beautiful bananas, some Fuji apples, and some freezer Ziploc bags. So I almost forgot to show you that I picked up some Mrs. Meyers surface cleaner at Target today. This is in the lilac scent, and I had never tried this one before and lilacs are my absolute favorite spring flower. So I sprayed a little bit in the store and it really does smell really good and really like spring. And I am just in the mood to bring a little spring in the house, which is unusual for me because I love winter so much. So I thought this would be a nice change from my homemade um, counter spray that I use all the time and it'll help me maybe uh, get my little spring fix before winter is out. So also in my travels today, I stopped by Marshall's because I was looking for some, you know, Easter decorations. I really don't have much here at home. Um, I didn't find any Easter decorations, but I did find some of the new Ray Dunn pieces that I have seen online. I was able to find um, two of the soap dispensers and two of the little soap dishes. At least I think they're soap dishes. They had a bunch of them there, and I picked up two for my guest bathroom upstairs. The soap dispensers were $9.99, which, you know, I think it might have been a little pricey. And the little soap dishes, I think, were $4 or $5.99. Yeah, I think they were $5.99. So I'm really excited that I found them. I didn't think I was going to, you know, find anything new. It's been a long time since I have found anything Ray Dunn at all, so I will show you what these look like up in my guest bathroom when I get them all set up. So my last haul for you today is just a few things that I picked up at Pier 1, and I was so excited to find these adorable little Easter and springtime pillows for my den. You know, for Easter you always see a lot of pastel pinky things, and that's really not the colors that I have in my house. So. They were having a sale. You bought one pillow, you got the other one for half price. So I got another little pillow with some bunny rabbits on there. And I also picked up a few of these little eggs. I really like the color scheme. You don't see these color schemes very often. Like I said, it's usually, you know, the pastel pinks and yellows. And I just don't have anything like that in my house. So these are going to go really well. I got a couple of these. I think these were only four dollars. 
So I thought they were a really good buy. They also were having a sale today. And I did pick up a couple more things that I think I'm going to save for a little um, spring home tour that I'm gonna be doing a little later on. So we are upstairs in my farmhousey, it's what I call farmhouse, bathroom. It's our guest bathroom on our second floor. And I have my Ray Dunn a soap dispenser and soap dish. For this sink, I have two sinks in here. So one here and then one over here. And I love the way it looks because this bathroom is very, very neutral. It's cream, white, and tan. And I think these pieces really blend in really well. I have one of um, a Ray Dunn tray right here for our guest towel. And I have a couple pieces here on the back of the commode. I just have a little tray here that holds containers of some Q-tips and cotton balls and just my little share canister. So in case you hadn't seen it before, this is my upstairs guest bathroom. I have a video that we did probably maybe over a year ago, right after we had remodeled this bathroom that I will put a link to up above and down below. My husband did all this work all on his own. He put in this beautiful tile floor and all that stuff is in the video. So check it out down below if you're interested. And in the meantime, I am going to be on the lookout for the Ray Dunn toothbrush holder. And I think they might even have a lotion bottle, but I could very well be making that up. But if you guys know for sure, please leave me a comment down below and let me know if you have seen them anywhere and if I'm even right, if there is a toothbrush holder and a lotion dispenser. So we are in my master bedroom closet and I am embarrassed to say that earlier this month, my closet collapsed <laughs> from the weight of mostly my wardrobe. So my hubby took the opportunity to completely gut this closet. He's added a wood floor and he's putting in some closet organization pieces. Since I had to empty everything out anyway, I have been slowly going through all of our things and making some really hard decisions on what I am keeping and what I'm donating. I'll be sharing all of this in an upcoming video, so stay tuned and wish me luck. Tonight is a really good example why at the beginning of the week on a Sunday afternoon, I will um, chop up a bowl full of red and green peppers, celery, carrots. Sometimes I'll throw in some zucchini, whatever I have on hand. I usually do that on Sunday afternoons when I have a lot of time. The other thing that I do is I saute up some um, thinly sliced chicken breasts and I put them in individual bags like this and I put them in the freezer. I have a whole video on all the things that I do to meal prep that I will put um, up above and in the information box down below. So there's only two of us for dinner and I want a really quick dinner because I'm kind of pooped out. <laughs> so I'm going to make some um, some pasta with the um, veggies that I have left over from earlier this week that I chopped up. The only thing that I'm going to throw in here extra is of course seasonings and things like that but I but I chopped up about a half of a you know, average size onion. I'm gonna saute all this up in a pan, add my chicken, and we will be good to go. So I put the rest of the chopped up veggies in my pan. I'm sauteing it with a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of butter. I've added some onion and just a little bit of garlic. And I'm just going to let this cook for a few minutes while my pasta water over there is starting to get the temperature. You know, there are some weekends when you think you cannot fit another thing in, but I have always tried to do a little bit of meal prep for my week because for as busy as you think you are on the weekend, nothing compares to, you know, coming home from work or from school and just being so pooped and you have a lot of hungry people looking at you. So this has saved me so many times and I would recommend everybody give it a try. Just do some chopping up of vegetables 
um, in the beginning of the week, saute some chicken and see how it works out for you. So dinner is all ready. I just added my pasta into my pot where I was sauteing my veggies. To my veggies, I added salt, pepper, garlic powder, parsley and red pepper flakes and I warmed up my two pieces of chicken. I have it just sitting on top and just waiting for my hubby to get home and we're gonna have dinner. Thank you so much for watching today. If you are new here, I hope you will subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. Don't forget to tune in on Friday for the next video in my decluttering and organizing series. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have and I'll see you again soon. Bye.